The Time Warrior Conquering Procrastination and Boosting Productivity by Better Life Library. This video is sponsored by Lighting Effects. More on that later. Prelude In our fast paced, distraction filled world, procrastination is a common enemy. It lurks in the shadows, a silent thief of time, silently sabotaging our productivity and delaying our dreams. Every missed deadline, every postponed project, and every unfulfilled promise bears its mark. It's not just about the things we fail to do, it's about the opportunities we miss, the stress we accumulate, and the self-doubt that slowly builds up within us. Procrastination is an insidious foe, often misunderstood and underestimated. Many of us label it as mere laziness, a lack of willpower, or an inherent flaw in our character. However, it's much more complex than that. It is a multifaceted behavior influenced by a variety of psychological, emotional, and even neurological factors. To truly conquer procrastination, we must first understand it in all its intricacies. The Time Warrior Conquering procrastination and boosting productivity is more than just a guide to getting things done. It is a call to arms for anyone who feels overwhelmed by the demands of modern life, for those who struggle to balance their aspirations with the harsh realities of time constraints. This book aims to equip you with practical tools and strategies that go beyond superficial advice, delving deep into the root causes of procrastination and providing actionable solutions. Our journey will begin with understanding procrastination itself. We will explore the science behind it, uncovering the psychological and neurological underpinnings that drive this behavior. By shedding light on the enemy within, we can better prepare ourselves for the battle ahead. Once we have a firm grasp on what causes procrastination, we will arm ourselves with a variety of techniques designed to combat it. From setting smart goals to breaking tasks into manageable steps, from adopting the two-minute rule to mastering time blocking, these strategies will help you start tasks promptly and maintain focus. However, knowing what to do is only half the battle. Staying motivated and maintaining momentum is equally crucial. In the chapters that follow, we will delve into the secrets of building and sustaining motivation. You will learn how to harness the power of positive thinking, leverage both intrinsic and extrinsic motivators, set up effective reward systems, and visualize your success. Building productive habits and routines forms the backbone of a successful, procrastination-free life. By understanding the science of habit formation, crafting powerful morning and evening routines, and consistently tracking and adjusting our habits, we can automate our productivity and minimize the need for constant decision-making. For those seeking to push their productivity to the next level, we will explore advanced techniques. From the Pomodoro Technique and the Eisenhower Matrix to batch processing and effective delegation, these methods will help you optimize your workflow and make the most of your time. As we conclude our journey, you will be equipped with a comprehensive toolkit to reclaim control over your time and your life. Remember, the battle against procrastination is ongoing. It requires vigilance, persistence, and a willingness to adapt and grow. Armed with the knowledge and strategies in this book, you are well prepared to conquer procrastination and boost your productivity. Embrace this journey with an open heart and a determined spirit. Your time is your most valuable asset. Use it wisely and continue to strive for excellence. The power to transform your life lies within you. Now, go forth and become the time warrior you were always meant to be. Chapter 1 Understanding Procrastination The Enemy Within Introduction to Procrastination Procrastination is a term that most of us are familiar with, often brushing it off as mere laziness or a lack of willpower. However, Procrastination is far more complex than that. It's a multifaceted behavior deeply rooted in our psychology and brain functions. 
Understanding procrastination is the first step toward conquering it, and this chapter aims to provide a comprehensive insight into its nature, causes, and impacts. Procrastination is defined as the voluntary delay of an intended course of action despite expecting to be worse off for the delay. It's not simply putting things off, it's choosing to do something less important over something more important. This behavior can be traced back to various psychological triggers and emotional states, which we will explore in detail throughout this chapter. One of the primary misconceptions about procrastination is that it is synonymous with laziness. Laziness implies a lack of desire to do anything productive, whereas procrastinators often want to achieve their goals but struggle to start or complete tasks. This struggle is usually not due to a lack of effort or ambition, but rather a complex interplay of emotional and psychological factors. Fear of failure is a significant driver of procrastination. When we perceive a task as too challenging or ourselves as not competent enough to complete it, we might delay starting to avoid potential failure. This avoidance behavior is a protective mechanism, shielding us from the negative emotions associated with failure and inadequacy. However, it ultimately leads to stress and decreased productivity. Perfectionism is another critical factor. Perfectionists set excessively high standards for themselves and fear that anything less than perfect is unacceptable. This fear of not meeting their own high expectations can lead to procrastination as they delay starting tasks, hoping to find the perfect conditions or enough time to achieve perfection. Instant gratification also plays a significant role. Our brains are wired to seek immediate rewards and pleasure, which often leads us to choose short-term, pleasurable activities over long-term, rewarding tasks that require effort and delay gratification. This tendency can derail our productivity and push us into a cycle of procrastination. Understanding these underlying psychological factors is crucial in identifying procrastination in our own lives. By recognizing that procrastination is not a character flaw but a behavior influenced by various factors, we can approach it with more empathy and strategic solutions. The impact of procrastination extends beyond mere inconvenience. It can lead to significant stress, guilt, and a sense of failure, which further perpetuates the cycle. Procrastination can also result in missed opportunities, lower academic or professional performance, and strained relationships. Understanding these consequences highlights the importance of addressing procrastination head-on. Identifying your procrastination triggers is a crucial step toward overcoming it. These triggers can be unique to each individual, influenced by personal experiences, beliefs, and emotional states. Some common triggers include tasks perceived as too difficult or boring, a lack of clear goals or direction, and negative past experiences related to similar tasks. In the next section, we will focus on the psychology of procrastination, exploring how our brain's wiring influences this behavior. We will also discuss practical ways to identify your specific procrastination triggers and patterns setting the stage for developing effective strategies to combat them. By the end of this chapter, you will have a deeper understanding of what procrastination is and how it affects you. This knowledge will be crucial as we move forward to developing strategies to combat procrastination. Understanding the enemy within is the first step in conquering it, and with this foundation, you will be better equipped to reclaim control over your time and productivity. Tasks that are perceived as unpleasant, boring, or difficult are more likely to be procrastinated. This aversion can stem from a variety of factors, including the nature of the task itself, past negative experiences, or a lack of interest. For instance, someone might procrastinate on doing their taxes because they find the process tedious and confusing. Fear of failure is another significant trigger. When we fear that we might not perform well on a task, we might delay starting it to avoid the possibility of failure. 
This fear can be exacerbated by high expectations, either from ourselves or others. For example, an employee might procrastinate on a major presentation because they worry about not meeting their boss's expectations. Perfectionism is closely related to the fear of failure and can also serve as a powerful trigger. Perfectionists often delay tasks because they feel the need to perform them perfectly. This can lead to excessive planning, overthinking, and a constant search for the perfect moment to start, which often never comes. For instance, a student might procrastinate on writing a paper because they want to ensure that every detail is flawless. Lack of structure or clear goals can also lead to procrastination. When tasks are not well-defined or there is no clear plan of action, it can be challenging to know where to start. This lack of direction can result in delays as we struggle to figure out the next steps. For example, someone might procrastinate on a work project because they are unsure of the project's scope or objectives. Distractions and environmental factors can significantly contribute to procrastination. In today's digital age, distractions are everywhere, from social media notifications to streaming services. An environment that is not conducive to work, such as a cluttered workspace or a noisy setting, can also make it difficult to focus and lead to procrastination. For instance, a writer might procrastinate on their novel because they keep getting distracted by social media. Emotional states play a crucial role in procrastination. Feelings of stress, anxiety, or depression can drain our motivation and make it hard to start tasks. Conversely, seeking out activities that provide immediate pleasure or relief from negative emotions can lead to procrastination. For example, someone might procrastinate on studying for an exam because they are feeling overwhelmed and turn to video games for distraction. Low self-efficacy or a lack of belief in one's ability to succeed can also trigger procrastination. When we doubt our competence, we might avoid tasks to protect ourselves from potential failure or criticism. For example, a person might procrastinate on applying for a job because they are unsure if they are qualified for the position. Identifying your specific procrastination triggers involves self-reflection and honesty. Pay attention to the tasks you frequently delay and consider the underlying reasons for this behavior. Keeping a procrastination journal can be helpful. In this journal, note down the tasks you procrastinate on, your thoughts and feelings about these tasks, and the circumstances surrounding your procrastination. Once you have identified your triggers, you can begin to develop strategies to address them. This might involve breaking tasks into smaller, more manageable steps, setting clear and achievable goals, or creating a more conducive work environment. It might also mean working on building your self-confidence and learning to manage negative emotions more effectively. In the next section, we will explore the different types of procrastinators. By understanding the specific tendencies and behaviors associated with each type, you can further tailor your strategies to overcome procrastination. Transform your home with Lighting Effects Smart Holiday Lighting. Our lighting system is perfect for any occasion. It comes with three main components, the control unit, the lights themselves, and an app. The control unit is either mounted in your garage or at the side of your home and allow you to control the system from anywhere in the world. Our state-of-the-art lights are installed along the roofline in the soffit. Choose between 16 million colors and 17 different patterns for countless possibilities on making your home look beautiful. So if you are in southwestern Ontario, contact us today for a free estimate at www.lightingfx.ca. The Psychology of Procrastination Understanding the psychology behind procrastination is essential in recognizing why we engage in this behavior. It's not just about a lack of willpower or being lazy. It's about the intricate workings of our brain and emotions that compel us to delay tasks. One of the fundamental psychological factors contributing to procrastination is fear of failure. This fear can paralyze us, making us hesitate to start tasks 
because we are afraid of not meeting expectations or making mistakes. This is particularly true for tasks that are perceived as difficult or important. The higher the stakes, the greater the fear of failure, leading to more pronounced procrastination. For instance, a student may procrastinate on a major assignment, not because they are lazy, but because they fear they won't be able to perform well enough to achieve the desired grade. Closely related to fear of failure is perfectionism. Perfectionists set exceedingly high standards for themselves and are often overly critical of their own work. This constant pressure to achieve perfection can be overwhelming, causing them to procrastinate. They may spend excessive time planning or researching, waiting for the perfect moment to start, which often never comes. An example of this is an artist who spends months conceptualizing a piece but never begins because they doubt their ability to execute it perfectly. Instant gratification is another significant psychological factor. Our brains are naturally wired to seek pleasure and avoid pain. Tasks that are boring, difficult, or uninteresting do not provide immediate gratification, leading us to put them off in favor of more enjoyable activities. This is why people often find themselves watching TV, browsing social media, or engaging in other leisure activities instead of working on important but less enjoyable tasks. The short-term pleasure of these activities can be irresistible, overshadowing the long-term benefits of completing the task at hand. Cognitive biases also play a crucial role in procrastination. The present bias, for instance, makes us prioritize immediate rewards over future benefits. We undervalue the importance of tasks with delayed rewards, leading to procrastination. Additionally, Optimism bias can cause us to underestimate the time and effort required to complete a task, making us believe that we have more time to start it later than we actually do. Emotional regulation difficulties can further exacerbate procrastination. Tasks that evoke negative emotions such as anxiety, frustration, or boredom are more likely to be procrastinated. When faced with such tasks, people often engage in avoidance behaviors to manage these uncomfortable emotions. For example, someone might procrastinate on preparing a presentation because the thought of public speaking induces anxiety, leading them to distract themselves with other activities to avoid the discomfort. Self-doubt and low self-efficacy can also lead to procrastination. When individuals doubt their abilities to perform a task successfully, they are more likely to procrastinate as a way to protect their self-esteem. This avoidance helps them avoid the potential confirmation of their perceived inadequacies. For instance, an employee might delay working on a project because they are unsure of their skills, fearing that their efforts will fall short of expectations. By understanding these psychological factors, we can begin to see procrastination not as a personal failing, but as a complex behavior influenced by our brain's natural tendencies and emotional states. Recognizing these influences is the first step toward developing effective strategies to combat procrastination. In the next section, we will discuss the cost of procrastination, exploring how this behavior impacts various aspects of our lives. Understanding the consequences of procrastination can provide further motivation to address and overcome it. The Cost of Procrastination Procrastination comes with a high price, affecting various aspects of our lives in profound ways. While it may seem like a harmless delay in the moment, the long-term consequences can be significant and far-reaching. One of the most immediate and noticeable costs of procrastination is increased stress. When we delay tasks, they don't go away, they linger in the back of our minds, creating a constant undercurrent of anxiety. This stress can accumulate over time, leading to feelings of overwhelm and burnout. For example, a professional who continually puts off an important project may experience mounting stress as the deadline approaches, resulting in sleepless nights and heightened anxiety. Procrastination also leads to lower productivity. 
When we procrastinate, we waste valuable time that could be spent working towards our goals. This not only hampers our efficiency, but also limits our potential for success. A writer who delays starting their manuscript might find that they miss out on opportunities to publish their work or participate in important industry events. Missed opportunities are another significant cost. When we procrastinate, we often fail to seize opportunities that could advance our personal or professional lives. This could mean missing out on career advancements, educational opportunities, or personal growth experiences. For instance, a student who procrastinates on applying for scholarships may miss out on financial aid that could have made a significant difference in their academic journey. Procrastination can also damage relationships. When we delay tasks that affect others, such as meeting deadlines or fulfilling commitments, it can lead to a loss of trust and respect. Colleagues, friends, and family members may perceive our procrastination as a lack of reliability or consideration. For example, consistently missing deadlines at work can strain relationships with co-workers and supervisors, potentially jeopardizing one's career. Furthermore, procrastination can result in financial losses. Delaying financial planning, bill payments, or investment decisions can lead to penalties, missed opportunities for savings, and poor financial health. An individual who procrastinates on filing their taxes might incur late fees or miss out on potential refunds. Another hidden cost of procrastination is the impact on mental health. Chronic procrastination can lead to feelings of guilt, shame, and decreased self-esteem. These negative emotions can create a vicious cycle, where the more we procrastinate, the worse we feel about ourselves, which in turn leads to more procrastination. This can contribute to a decline in overall well-being and mental health. Procrastination also affects personal development. By delaying tasks that are essential for our growth, such as learning new skills, pursuing hobbies, or engaging in self-improvement activities, we hinder our personal development. A person who procrastinates on learning a new language or taking up a new hobby misses out on enriching experiences that could enhance their life. Understanding these costs highlights the importance of addressing procrastination head-on. It's not just about getting things done. It's about improving our quality of life, reducing stress, seizing opportunities, and fostering better relationships. In the next section, we will explore how to identify procrastination triggers. Recognizing what prompts us to procrastinate is crucial for developing effective strategies to overcome it. By understanding our unique triggers, we can create personalized plans to tackle procrastination and enhance our productivity. Identifying procrastination triggers. Understanding the specific triggers that lead us to procrastinate is a crucial step in combating this behavior. These triggers can vary significantly from person to person, influenced by individual experiences, emotions, and environmental factors. By identifying these triggers, we can develop tailored strategies to address them effectively. One common trigger is task aversion. Tasks that are perceived as unpleasant, boring, or difficult are more likely to be procrastinated. This aversion can stem from a variety of factors, including the nature of the task itself, past negative experiences, or a lack of interest. For instance, someone might procrastinate on doing their taxes because they find the process tedious and confusing. Fear of failure is another significant trigger. When we fear that we might not perform well on a task, we might delay starting it to avoid the possibility of failure. This fear can be exacerbated by high expectations, either from ourselves or others. For example, an employee might procrastinate on a major presentation because they worry about not meeting their boss's expectations. Perfectionism is closely related to the fear of failure and can also serve as a powerful trigger. 
Perfectionists often delay tasks because they feel the need to perform them perfectly. This can lead to excessive planning, overthinking, and a constant search for the perfect moment to start. For instance, a student might procrastinate on writing a paper because they want to ensure that every detail is flawless. Lack of structure or clear goals can also lead to procrastination. When tasks are not well-defined or there is no clear plan of action, it can be challenging to know where to start. This lack of direction can result in delays as we struggle to figure out the next steps. For example, someone might procrastinate on a work project because they are unsure of the project's scope or objectives. Distractions and environmental factors can significantly contribute to procrastination. In today's digital age, distractions are everywhere, from social media notifications to streaming services. An environment that is not conducive to work, such as a cluttered workspace or a noisy setting, can also make it difficult to focus and lead to procrastination. For instance, a writer might procrastinate on their novel because they keep getting distracted by social media. Emotional states play a crucial role in procrastination. Feelings of stress, anxiety, or depression can drain our motivation and make it hard to start tasks. Conversely, seeking out activities that provide immediate pleasure or relief from negative emotions can lead to procrastination. For example, someone might procrastinate on studying for an exam because they are feeling overwhelmed and turn to video games for distraction. Low self-efficacy or a lack of belief in one's ability to succeed, can also trigger procrastination. When we doubt our competence, we might avoid tasks to protect ourselves from potential failure or criticism. For example, a person might procrastinate on applying for a job because they are unsure if they are qualified for the position. Identifying your specific procrastination triggers involves self-reflection and honesty. Pay attention to the tasks you frequently delay and consider the underlying reasons for this behavior. Keeping a procrastination journal can be helpful. In this journal, note down the tasks you procrastinate on, your thoughts and feelings about these tasks, and the circumstances surrounding your procrastination. Once you have identified your triggers, you can begin to develop strategies to address them. This might involve breaking tasks into smaller, more manageable steps, setting clear and achievable goals, or creating a more conducive work environment. It might also mean working on building your self-confidence and learning to manage negative emotions more effectively. In the next section, we will explore the different types of procrastinators. By understanding the specific tendencies and behaviors associated with each type, you can further tailor your strategies to overcome procrastination. Types of procrastinators Not all procrastinators are the same. Different individuals have different reasons and methods for delaying tasks. Understanding the various types of procrastinators can help you identify your tendencies and adopt strategies tailored to your specific behavior. Here are some common types of procrastinators. 1. The Perfectionist Perfectionists procrastinate because they fear that their work will not meet their high standards. They often delay starting or completing tasks because they want everything to be perfect. This can lead to excessive planning, overthinking, and a constant search for the ideal moment to begin. Example, a graphic designer might spend hours tweaking minor details on a project, delaying its completion because they are not satisfied with the result. 2. The Dreamer Dreamers have grand ideas and aspirations, but struggle to turn them into reality. They enjoy thinking about the big picture and fantasizing about success, but they often fail to take concrete steps toward achieving their goals. Example, an aspiring author might have an elaborate storyline in their mind, but never actually start writing the novel because they are lost in the dreaming phase. 3. The Avoider Avoiders procrastinate to avoid tasks that cause them anxiety or discomfort. 
They might fear failure, criticism, or even success. This avoidance behavior is a way to protect themselves from negative emotions. Example, a student might avoid studying for an exam because they are anxious about their ability to perform well, opting instead to engage in more enjoyable activities. 4. The Crisis Maker Crisis makers thrive under pressure and believe they perform best when working at the last minute. They intentionally delay tasks until the deadline is imminent, creating a sense of urgency that motivates them to complete the work. Example, an employee might put off preparing a presentation until the night before it is due, believing that the looming deadline will enhance their focus and productivity. 5. The Busy Procrastinator Busy procrastinators fill their schedules with low-priority tasks, convincing themselves that they are productive. They avoid important tasks by staying busy with less critical activities, often neglecting what truly matters. Example, a manager might spend their day responding to emails and attending unnecessary meetings, neglecting strategic planning or critical decision-making tasks. 6. The Indecisive Procrastinator Indecisive procrastinators struggle with making decisions, often delaying tasks because they are unsure of the best course of action. This indecisiveness can stem from a fear of making the wrong choice or a lack of confidence in their judgment. Example, a business owner might procrastinate on launching a new product because they cannot decide on the final features or marketing strategy. Strategies for each type of procrastinator Perfectionist Set realistic and achievable goals, focus on progress rather than perfection, and establish deadlines to keep yourself accountable. Dreamer Break down large goals into smaller, actionable steps, and set specific timelines for each step to turn your dreams into reality. Avoider Identify the root cause of your anxiety, practice mindfulness or stress relief techniques, and tackle tasks in small, manageable portions to reduce fear. Crisis Maker Plan your tasks in advance, create artificial deadlines to simulate urgency, and practice time management to avoid last-minute rushes. Busy Procrastinator Prioritize your tasks based on importance and impact, delegate or eliminate low-priority activities, and focus on what truly matters. Indecisive Procrastinator Gather necessary information, weigh the pros and cons, and make a decision within a set time frame. Trust your judgment and be willing to learn from any mistakes. By identifying your procrastination type and adopting strategies tailored to your behavior, you can effectively address the underlying causes of your procrastination. This personalized approach will empower you to overcome procrastination and boost your productivity. With a comprehensive understanding of procrastination, its psychological roots, costs, triggers, and types, you are now equipped to tackle this common but challenging issue. In the next chapter, we will explore actionable strategies to overcome procrastination and enhance your productivity. Chapter 2 Strategies to Overcome Procrastination Setting Smart Goals Having understood the roots and consequences of procrastination, it's time to arm ourselves with effective strategies to overcome it. This chapter introduces practical methods to help you take control and start acting. Setting goals is a fundamental step in combating procrastination. However, not all goals are created equal. To ensure that your goals are effective, they need to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Let's break down each component. Specific A goal must be clear and specific. Vague goals can lead to confusion and lack of direction. When defining a goal, ask yourself the following questions. What exactly do I want to accomplish? Why is this goal important? Who is involved? Where is it located? Which resources or constraints are involved? 
Example. Instead of saying, I want to get fit, specify the goal as, I want to run a 5K marathon in 6 months. Measurable. To track your progress and stay motivated, your goals must be measurable. This means having concrete criteria for measuring progress toward the attainment of each goal. Ask yourself. How much? How many? How will I know when it is accomplished? Example. I want to lose 10 pounds in 3 months. Achievable. While it's important to set ambitious goals, they must also be realistic and attainable. Ask yourself. How can I accomplish this goal? How realistic is the goal, based on other constraints such as financial factors? Example. I will save $500 for an emergency fund in 3 months. Relevant. Your goals should matter to you and align with other relevant goals. Ask yourself. Does this seem worthwhile? Is this the right time? Does this match my other efforts slash needs? Am I the right person to reach this goal? Example. I want to complete a professional certification that will advance my career. Time bound. Every goal needs a target date, so you have a deadline to focus on and something to work toward. Ask yourself. When? What can I do six months from now? What can I do six weeks from now? What can I do today? Example. I will finish writing my book by the end of the year. By setting smart goals, you create a clear roadmap for achieving your objectives. This clarity reduces the likelihood of procrastination because you know exactly what you need to do, when, and why. Exercise. Setting your smart goals. 1. Write down three goals you want to achieve in the next six months. 2. Make sure each goal is smart. 3. Break down each goal into smaller, actionable steps. 4. Set deadlines for each step and track your progress regularly. By implementing these strategies, you will find it easier to begin and complete tasks. In the next page, we will explore the two-minute rule, a simple yet effective method to kickstart productivity and overcome procrastination. The two-minute rule. The two-minute rule is a simple yet powerful strategy to help you overcome procrastination and boost productivity. This rule is based on the idea that if a task takes two minutes or less to complete, you should do it immediately. The simplicity of this rule makes it an effective tool for getting started on tasks and avoiding the trap of procrastination. The concept behind the two-minute rule the two-minute rule leverages the principle that small actions can lead to significant changes. By taking immediate action on tasks that require minimal time and effort, you can build momentum and reduce the mental resistance that often leads to procrastination. Here's how the rule works. Identify tasks that take two minutes or less. Look for tasks that can be completed quickly and with minimal effort. Examples include responding to a short email, tidying up your workspace, or making a quick phone call. Do it immediately. As soon as you identify a two-minute task, take action and complete it right away. This prevents the task from lingering on your to-do list and occupying mental space. Build Momentum Completing small tasks can create a sense of accomplishment and build momentum for tackling larger tasks. The satisfaction of getting things done can motivate you to continue working productively. Why the two-minute rule works. Reduces overwhelm. Breaking down tasks into smaller, manageable steps can make them feel less overwhelming. The two-minute rule helps you focus on immediate, achievable actions rather than the daunting entirety of a larger task. Minimizes decision fatigue. By deciding to complete a task immediately, you eliminate the mental effort required to decide when to do it. 
This reduces decision fatigue and frees up cognitive resources for more complex tasks. Creates positive habits. Consistently applying the two-minute rule can help you develop positive habits and a proactive mindset. Over time, this can lead to increased productivity and reduced procrastination. Applying the two-minute rule in your daily life. To effectively implement the two-minute rule, consider incorporating it into your daily routine. Here are some practical tips. Start your day with two-minute tasks. Begin your day by completing a few two-minute tasks. This sets a productive tone and creates momentum for the rest of the day. Use it as a procrastination buster. When you feel the urge to procrastinate, identify a two-minute task and complete it. This can help you break the cycle of inaction and get back on track. Integrate it into your workflow. Look for opportunities throughout the day to apply the two-minute rule. Whether you're in between meetings or waiting for a reply, use these moments to tackle quick tasks. Real-life example. The power of two minutes. Consider the story of a software developer named Alex. Alex often found himself overwhelmed by the number of emails he received daily. By applying the two-minute rule, he began responding to short emails immediately, rather than letting them pile up. This small change significantly reduced his email backlog, decreased his stress levels, and allowed him to focus on more critical tasks. Exercise Implementing the two-minute rule. Identify five tasks that take two minutes or less to complete. Complete these tasks immediately. Reflect on how this impacts your sense of accomplishment and motivation. By incorporating the two-minute rule into your daily routine, you'll find it easier to get started on tasks and maintain a productive workflow. In the next page, we will explore the technique of breaking tasks into smaller steps, which can further help in overcoming procrastination and managing larger projects more effectively. Breaking tasks into smaller steps. Large tasks can be overwhelming, which often leads to procrastination. One effective way to tackle this is by breaking tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This method helps reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed and makes it easier to start and complete tasks. The concept of breaking tasks into smaller steps. Breaking down tasks involves dividing a large, complex task into smaller, simpler actions. By focusing on one small step at a time, you can make steady progress without feeling overwhelmed. Here's how you can apply this strategy. Identify the large task. Start by identifying a task that feels daunting or overwhelming. This could be a project, an assignment, or any task that you've been avoiding. Break it down. Divide the task into smaller, more manageable steps. Each step should be a specific action that you can complete in a relatively short amount of time. For example, if your task is to write a research paper, break it down into steps like selecting a topic, conducting research, creating an outline, writing a draft, and editing. Prioritize and sequence. Once you've broken down the task, prioritize the steps and arrange them in a logical order. Focus on completing the most critical steps first. Set mini deadlines. Assign deadlines for each small step to create a sense of urgency and keep yourself accountable. This helps ensure that you stay on track and make consistent progress. Celebrate small wins. Celebrate each small accomplishment. Recognizing your progress can boost your motivation and encourage you to keep going. Why breaking tasks into smaller steps works reduces overwhelm. Dividing a large task into smaller steps makes it feel less intimidating. This approach reduces the mental burden and makes it easier to start. Increases focus. 
Focusing on one small step at a time helps you concentrate better and work more efficiently. It prevents distractions and keeps you engaged in the task. Builds momentum. Completing small steps creates a sense of achievement and builds momentum. This positive reinforcement can motivate you to continue working on the task. Applying the strategy in your daily life. To effectively use this strategy, integrate it into your planning and task management routines. Here are some practical tips. Use task lists. Create a list of tasks for each project. Break down larger tasks into smaller steps and add them to your list. Use a task management tool or a simple to-do list to keep track of your progress. Focus on one step at a time. Avoid multitasking and concentrate on completing one step before moving on to the next. This helps you stay focused and avoid feeling overwhelmed. Review and adjust. Regularly review your task list and adjust it as needed. If a step feels too large, break it down further. If a step is no longer necessary, remove it. Real-life example. The power of small steps. Consider the story of Sarah, a graduate student working on her thesis. Initially, Sarah felt overwhelmed by the magnitude of the project and struggled to make progress. By breaking the task into smaller steps, such as conducting literature reviews, writing individual chapters, and editing, she was able to tackle each part systematically. This approach not only helped her manage the workload, but also reduced her stress and improved her productivity. Exercise. Breaking down a large task. 1. Choose a task that you've been procrastinating on. 2. Break it down into smaller, actionable steps. 3. Prioritize the steps and set mini deadlines for each. 4. Start with the first step and focus on completing it before moving on to the next. By breaking down tasks into smaller steps, you can make steady progress and overcome the inertia of procrastination. In the next page, we will explore the technique of time blocking and scheduling, which can further enhance your focus and productivity. Time blocking and scheduling. Time blocking and scheduling are powerful techniques that can help you manage your time more effectively, maintain focus, and boost productivity. By allocating specific time blocks for tasks, you can create a structured daily routine that minimizes distractions and enhances your ability to concentrate on important activities. The concept of time blocking. Time blocking involves dividing your day into distinct time blocks, each dedicated to a specific task or group of tasks. This method helps you allocate your time more intentionally and ensures that you prioritize important activities. Identify your tasks. Start by listing all the tasks you need to accomplish. Include both personal and professional tasks to get a comprehensive view of your responsibilities. Categorize tasks by priority. Categorize your tasks based on their priority and urgency. This helps you allocate more time to high-priority tasks and ensures that you address urgent matters promptly. Allocate time blocks. Assign specific time blocks to each task or group of tasks. Be realistic about how much time each task will take and avoid overloading your schedule. Include breaks and buffer time. Schedule regular breaks to avoid burnout and maintain productivity. Also, include buffer time between tasks to account for any unexpected delays or additional work. Stick to your schedule. Commit to following your time blocks as closely as possible. This discipline helps you stay focused and minimizes the risk of getting sidetracked. The Benefits of Time Blocking Enhanced focus. By dedicating specific time blocks to particular tasks, you can concentrate fully on one activity at a time, reducing distractions and improving the quality of your work. 
Better time management. Time blocking helps you allocate your time more efficiently, ensuring that you prioritize important tasks and avoid wasting time on less critical activities. Increased productivity. A structured schedule helps you stay on track and make steady progress toward your goals. The sense of accomplishment from completing tasks within their allocated time blocks can boost your motivation. Applying time blocking in your daily routine. To effectively implement time blocking, integrate it into your daily planning routine. Here are some practical tips. Plan your day the night before. Take a few minutes each evening to plan your schedule for the next day. This helps you start your day with a clear plan and reduces decision fatigue. Use a planner or digital calendar. Use a planner or digital calendar to organize your time blocks. This visual representation of your schedule makes it easier to follow and adjust as needed. Be flexible. While it's important to stick to your schedule, be flexible and willing to adjust your time blocks if unexpected tasks or priorities arise. Flexibility ensures that you remain productive without feeling constrained by a rigid schedule. Real life example The power of time blocking. Consider the story of John, a freelance graphic designer. John struggled with managing his time and often found himself working late into the night to meet deadlines. By implementing time blocking, he allocated specific time slots for design work, client meetings, and administrative tasks. This structured approach helped him manage his workload more effectively, reduce stress, and improve his work-life balance. Exercise. Creating your time-blocked schedule. 1. List all the tasks you need to complete tomorrow. 2. Categorize these tasks by priority. 3. Allocate specific time blocks for each task, including breaks and buffer time. 4. Follow your schedule as closely as possible and make adjustments as needed. By incorporating time blocking into your daily routine, you'll find it easier to manage your time, stay focused, and accomplish your tasks efficiently. In the next page, we will explore how to maintain focus and productivity throughout your scheduled time blocks. Maintaining focus and productivity. Maintaining focus and productivity throughout your scheduled time blocks is essential for achieving your goals and overcoming procrastination. By implementing strategies to enhance concentration and efficiency, you can ensure that you make the most of your allocated time. The importance of maintaining focus. Maintaining focus allows you to work more efficiently and effectively. When you're fully engaged in a task, you can complete it faster and with higher quality. Distractions and interruptions, on the other hand, can significantly hinder your productivity. Strategies to maintain focus and productivity. Create a distraction-free environment. Find a quiet, comfortable workspace where you can concentrate without interruptions. Minimize potential distractions by turning off notifications, closing unnecessary tabs or apps, and setting boundaries with family or colleagues. Use the Pomodoro Technique. The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method that involves working in short, focused bursts, usually 25 minutes, followed by a short break, five minutes. After completing four Pomodoro sessions, take a longer break, 15-30 minutes. This technique helps maintain focus and prevent burnout. Prioritize high-impact tasks. Start your day with high-impact tasks that require the most concentration and energy. Completing these tasks first can boost your sense of accomplishment and set a positive tone for the rest of the day. Take regular breaks. Regular breaks are essential for maintaining productivity. Short breaks can help refresh your mind, reduce stress, and prevent fatigue. Use breaks to stretch, take a walk, or engage in a relaxing activity. 
Practice mindfulness and deep work. Mindfulness involves being fully present and engaged in the task at hand. Practice mindfulness by focusing on your breath, eliminating distractions, and immersing yourself in your work. Deep work refers to periods of focused, undistracted work on cognitively demanding tasks. Schedule time for deep work to enhance your productivity. Set clear goals and deadlines. Having clear goals and deadlines for each task can help you stay focused and motivated. Break tasks into smaller steps, set specific deadlines, and track your progress to ensure you stay on track. Use productivity tools. Utilize productivity tools and apps to help you stay organized and focused. Tools like task managers, calendars, and time trackers can help you plan your day, manage your tasks, and monitor your progress. Real Life Example The Power of Focused Work Consider the story of Mark, a software engineer who struggled with distractions and time management. By implementing the Pomodoro technique and practicing deep work, Mark was able to maintain focus during his work sessions and complete tasks more efficiently. This structured approach helped him reduce stress, improve his productivity, and achieve a better work-life balance. Exercise. Enhancing your focus and productivity. 1. Identify potential distractions in your workspace and take steps to minimize them. 2. Choose one or two productivity techniques, e.g., Pomodoro technique, deep work, to implement in your routine. 3. Set clear goals and deadlines for your tasks. 4. Use a productivity tool or app to help you stay organized and focused. By implementing these strategies, you can maintain focus and productivity throughout your scheduled time blocks, ensuring that you make consistent progress toward your goals. In the next chapter, we will explore building and maintaining motivation which is crucial for sustaining your productivity over the long term. Chapter 3. Building and Maintaining Motivation The Power of Positive Thinking Motivation is the fuel that drives productivity. However, staying motivated can be challenging, especially when facing long or difficult tasks. This chapter explores techniques to build and sustain motivation starting with the power of positive thinking. The role of positive thinking in motivation. Positive thinking involves maintaining an optimistic outlook and focusing on the potential for success rather than dwelling on obstacles and failures. This mindset can significantly influence your motivation levels and overall productivity. Here are some key benefits of positive thinking. Increased resilience. Positive thinking helps you bounce back from setbacks and challenges. Instead of giving up when things go wrong, you view obstacles as opportunities to learn and grow. Enhanced Problem Solving An optimistic mindset allows you to approach problems with a solutions-oriented attitude. You're more likely to find creative and effective solutions when you believe in your ability to overcome difficulties. Improved Mental Health Positive thinking reduces stress and anxiety, promoting better mental health. This helps you stay focused and motivated, even during challenging times. Greater Confidence When you believe in yourself and your abilities, you're more likely to take on new challenges and pursue your goals with determination. Techniques to Cultivate Positive Thinking Practice gratitude. Regularly reflecting on the things you're grateful for can shift your focus from negative to positive aspects of your life. Consider keeping a gratitude journal where you write down three things you're thankful for each day. Reframe negative thoughts. Challenge and reframe negative thoughts by looking for positive aspects or potential solutions. For example, instead of thinking, I'll never finish this project. Reframe it as, I can break this project into smaller steps and tackle each one. 
Surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with positive influences, such as supportive friends and family, inspirational books, and motivational quotes. Avoid negative environments and people who drain your energy. Visualize success. Visualization involves imagining yourself achieving your goals and experiencing the positive emotions associated with success. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing your success and the steps you'll take to get there. Affirmations Positive affirmations are statements that reinforce your self-belief and motivation. Create a list of affirmations that resonate with you such as I am capable of achieving my goals or I am confident and motivated. Repeat these affirmations daily. Real-life example. The impact of positive thinking. Consider the story of Lisa, a marketing manager who struggled with low motivation and self-doubt. By practicing gratitude, reframing negative thoughts, and using positive affirmations, Lisa gradually developed a more optimistic outlook. This shift in mindset helped her tackle challenges with confidence, stay motivated, and achieve her career goals. Exercise. Cultivating positive thinking. Gratitude journal. Start a gratitude journal and write down three things you're grateful for each day. Reframe negative thoughts. Identify a negative thought and practice reframing it into a positive one. Visualization. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing your success and the steps you'll take to achieve it. Affirmations. Create a list of positive affirmations and repeat them daily. By incorporating these positive thinking techniques into your routine, you can build and maintain the motivation needed to achieve your goals. In the next page, we will explore the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and how to harness both to stay motivated. Intrinsic versus Extrinsic Motivation Understanding the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation can help you harness both to stay motivated. Each type of motivation has its own unique benefits and can be effectively utilized to maintain momentum and achieve your goals. Intrinsic Motivation Intrinsic motivation refers to the drive to engage in activities for their own sake because they are inherently interesting, enjoyable, or satisfying. This type of motivation comes from within and is driven by personal satisfaction and a sense of accomplishment. Benefits of Intrinsic Motivation Increased Engagement Activities that are intrinsically motivating are more engaging and enjoyable, leading to higher levels of focus and commitment. Sustained Effort Intrinsic motivation fosters a deeper connection to the task, encouraging sustained effort and perseverance even in the face of challenges. Greater creativity. When you are intrinsically motivated, you are more likely to think creatively and explore new ideas, leading to innovative solutions and improved outcomes. Examples of intrinsic motivation. Pursuing a hobby because you find it enjoyable. Learning a new skill because it interests you. Volunteering for a cause you are passionate about. Extrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, refers to the drive to engage in activities to achieve external rewards or avoid negative consequences. This type of motivation is influenced by external factors such as recognition, financial incentives, or social approval. Benefits of Extrinsic Motivation Clear Goals Extrinsic motivation often involves specific, tangible goals, which can provide clear direction and a sense of purpose. Immediate Rewards External rewards can provide immediate gratification, boosting motivation and reinforcing positive behaviors. Accountability Extrinsic motivators such as deadlines, performance reviews, or rewards can create a sense of accountability and urgency, encouraging timely completion of tasks. Examples of extrinsic motivation 
working overtime to earn a bonus, completing a project to receive praise or recognition, studying to achieve high grades, balancing intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. While intrinsic motivation is often more sustainable and fulfilling, extrinsic motivation can be a powerful tool for achieving specific goals and maintaining productivity. The key is to find a balance that leverages both types of motivation to your advantage. Strategies to harness both types of motivation. Set meaningful goals. Align your goals with your personal values and interests to enhance intrinsic motivation. At the same time, set external rewards or milestones to provide extrinsic motivation. Create a reward system. Establish a system of rewards for achieving specific tasks or milestones. This can include small rewards for daily accomplishments and larger rewards for significant achievements. Seek out positive environments. Surround yourself with supportive and encouraging people who can provide both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Positive environments can enhance your motivation and drive. Reflect on your progress. Regularly reflect on your progress and celebrate your achievements. Recognizing your accomplishments can boost both intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Real-life example. Balancing motivation. Consider the story of Emma, a sales manager who struggled to stay motivated. By setting meaningful goals that aligned with her passion for helping clients, Emma tapped into her intrinsic motivation. Additionally, she established a reward system that included bonuses for achieving sales targets, leveraging extrinsic motivation. This balanced approach helped Emma maintain her motivation, achieve her goals, and excel in her career. Exercise. Balancing intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Identify a goal that aligns with your personal values and interests, intrinsic motivation. Establish external rewards or milestones for achieving this goal, extrinsic motivation. Create a plan to achieve the goal incorporating both intrinsic and extrinsic motivators. Reflect on your progress regularly and adjust your plan as needed. By understanding and balancing intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, you can maintain the drive needed to achieve your goals and sustain your productivity. In the next page, we will explore the use of reward systems to provide incentives and reinforce positive behaviors. Reward Systems Setting up a system of rewards can provide incentives to complete tasks and help maintain motivation over the long term. Rewards act as positive reinforcement, making you more likely to repeat the behaviors that lead to them. In this page, we will explore different types of rewards and how to implement an effective reward system. The importance of reward systems reward systems leverage the principle of positive reinforcement. When you receive a reward for completing a task, your brain releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and motivation. This creates a positive feedback loop, encouraging you to continue engaging in productive behaviors. Types of Rewards 1. Tangible Rewards Tangible rewards are physical items or experiences that you can enjoy. Examples include a favorite snack, a new gadget, or a special outing. These rewards provide immediate gratification and can be highly motivating. 2. Social rewards. Social rewards involve recognition and praise from others. This can include compliments from colleagues, public recognition, or sharing your achievements on social media. Social rewards tap into our need for social acceptance and validation. 3. Intrinsic rewards. Intrinsic rewards are the feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment that come from completing a task. These rewards are internal and self-generated. For example, 
The sense of pride you feel after finishing a challenging project is an intrinsic reward. 4. Experience-Based Rewards Experience-based rewards are activities or events that you enjoy. Examples include going to a concert, taking a weekend trip, or indulging in a spa day. These rewards provide memorable experiences and help you recharge. Implementing an effective reward system to create a reward system that works for you, follow these steps. 1. Set clear goals. Define specific, measurable goals that you want to achieve. Make sure these goals are realistic and achievable within a reasonable time frame. 2. Choose appropriate rewards. Select rewards that are meaningful and motivating for you. Consider using a mix of tangible, social, intrinsic, and experience-based rewards to keep things interesting. 3. Create a reward schedule. Decide when you will receive your rewards. This can be based on completing specific tasks, reaching milestones, or maintaining consistent productivity over time. A reward schedule helps you stay focused and motivated. 4. Track your progress. Keep track of your achievements and reward yourself accordingly. Use a journal, planner, or digital tool to record your progress and ensure you don't forget to reward yourself. 5. Celebrate your successes. Take the time to celebrate your successes, no matter how small. Acknowledging and rewarding your accomplishments reinforces positive behaviors and boosts your motivation. Real-life example, effective reward system consider the story of Tom, a freelance writer who struggled to stay motivated with long-term projects. Tom implemented a reward system where he set weekly goals and rewarded himself with a favorite treat or a fun activity for meeting those goals. Additionally, he shared his achievements with his writing group, receiving social recognition and encouragement. This combination of tangible, social, and intrinsic rewards helped Tom stay motivated and complete his projects on time. Exercise. Designing your reward system. 1. Identify a goal you want to achieve. 2. Choose three types of rewards, tangible, social, intrinsic, experience-based, that will motivate you. 3. Create a reward schedule outlining when you will receive each reward. 4. Track your progress and celebrate your successes. By implementing an effective reward system, you can maintain motivation, reinforce positive behaviors, and achieve your goals more efficiently. In the next page, we will explore visualization techniques to help you see the benefits of completing tasks and boost your motivation. Visualizing Success Visualization techniques can help you see the benefits of completing tasks, which can boost your motivation and drive. Visualization involves imagining yourself achieving your goals and experiencing the positive emotions associated with success. This mental rehearsal can enhance your focus, increase your confidence, and keep you motivated. The power of visualization visualization leverages the brain's ability to simulate real experiences. When you visualize yourself succeeding, your brain responds as if the experience is real reinforcing the neural pathways associated with achieving your goals. Here are some benefits of visualization. 1. Increased confidence. Seeing yourself succeed can boost your self-confidence and belief in your abilities. This confidence can translate into greater motivation and determination to achieve your goals. 2. Enhanced focus. Visualization helps you clarify your goals and maintain focus on what you need to do to achieve them. By regularly visualizing your success, you keep your objectives at the forefront of your mind. 3. Reduced Anxiety Visualizing success can help reduce anxiety and stress associated with challenging tasks. 
It allows you to mentally rehearse overcoming obstacles, making them feel less daunting. 4. Improved Performance Athletes, performers, and high achievers often use visualization to enhance their performance. By mentally practicing their tasks, they improve their skills and increase their chances of success. Techniques for Effective Visualization 1. Create a clear mental image. To visualize effectively, create a detailed mental image of your success. Imagine the specific steps you need to take, the environment, and the positive outcomes. The more vivid and detailed your visualization, the more effective it will be. 2. Use all your senses. Engage all your senses in your visualization. Imagine what you see, hear, feel, smell, and even taste. This multisensory approach makes the visualization more realistic and impactful. 3. Practice regularly. Make visualization a regular part of your routine. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing your success. Consistent practice reinforces the mental rehearsal and strengthens your motivation. 4. Stay positive. Focus on positive outcomes and experiences during your visualization. Avoid negative thoughts or doubts. Visualize yourself overcoming challenges with confidence and ease. Steps to practice visualization. 1. Find a quiet space. Choose a quiet, comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down in a relaxed position. 2. Close your eyes and relax. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax. Let go of any tension in your body and clear your mind of distractions. 3. Visualize your goal. Picture yourself achieving your goal in detail. Imagine the steps you need to take, the environment, and the positive outcomes. Use all your senses to make the visualization vivid and realistic. 4. Focus on positive emotions. Pay attention to the positive emotions you feel during the visualization. Feel the joy, satisfaction, and pride of achieving your goal. 5. Repeat regularly. Practice visualization regularly, ideally daily. Consistent practice reinforces the mental rehearsal and keeps you motivated. Real-life example, the power of visualization consider the story of Mia, a public speaker who used to feel anxious before presentations. By practicing visualization, Mia imagined herself delivering successful speeches with confidence and ease. This mental rehearsal helped reduce her anxiety and improve her performance. Over time, Mia became a more confident and effective speaker. Exercise. Visualizing your success. 1. Choose a goal you want to achieve. 2. Find a quiet space and relax. 3. Visualize yourself achieving the goal in detail, using all your senses. 4. Focus on the positive emotions associated with your success. 5. Practice visualization daily. By incorporating visualization techniques into your routine, you can enhance your focus, boost your confidence, and stay motivated to achieve your goals. In the next chapter, we will explore building productive habits and routines to support sustained productivity. Building a support network. A strong support network can significantly enhance your motivation and productivity. Surrounding yourself with positive, encouraging individuals can provide the emotional support, accountability, and encouragement needed to stay focused on your goals. The importance of a support network, a support network, consists of individuals who offer encouragement, guidance, and accountability. This can include family, friends, colleagues, 
mentors, or support groups. Here's why a support network is crucial for maintaining motivation. 1. Emotional support. Having people who believe in you and your goals can boost your confidence and help you stay positive, even during challenging times. 2. Accountability. Sharing your goals with others makes you more accountable. Knowing that someone else is aware of your commitments can motivate you to follow through. 3. Encouragement and feedback. Supportive individuals can provide valuable feedback and encouragement. They can help you see your progress and remind you of your strengths. 4. Inspiration. Being around motivated and successful people can inspire you to strive for your own goals. Their successes can serve as a reminder of what's possible. Strategies for building a support network. 1. Identify your needs. Determine what kind of support you need. This could be emotional support, practical advice, or accountability. Identifying your needs helps you find the right people to include in your support network. 2. Reach out. Don't be afraid to ask for support. Reach out to friends, family members, colleagues, or mentors who you trust and respect. Explain your goals and how they can help you stay motivated. 3. Join groups or communities. Consider joining groups or communities related to your goals. This could be a professional association, a hobby group, or an online forum. These communities can provide a sense of belonging and collective motivation. 4. Offer support to others. Building a support network is a two-way street. Offer your support to others as well. Being part of someone else's support network can strengthen your relationships and create a mutually beneficial dynamic. Maintaining your support network. 1. Regular check-ins. Schedule regular check-ins with your support network to discuss your progress and challenges. This keeps you accountable and allows your supporters to provide timely feedback and encouragement. 2. Express gratitude. Show appreciation for the support you receive. Acknowledge the efforts of your supporters and express gratitude for their help. This strengthens your relationships and encourages continued support. 3. Stay engaged. Stay actively engaged with your support network. Participate in group activities, attend meetings, and stay in touch. An engaged support network is more likely to provide ongoing motivation and encouragement. Real-life example the power of a support network, consider the story of James, an entrepreneur who was struggling to stay motivated while building his startup. James joined a local business group where he met other entrepreneurs facing similar challenges. The group provided him with valuable feedback, encouragement, and accountability. With their support, James stayed motivated and successfully grew his business. Exercise Building your support network. 1. Identify the type of support you need, emotional, practical, accountability. 2. Make a list of potential supporters, friends, family, colleagues, mentors. 3. Reach out to these individuals and explain your goals. 4. Schedule regular check-ins and express gratitude for their support. By building and maintaining a strong support network, you can enhance your motivation, stay accountable, and achieve your goals more effectively. In the next chapter, we will explore building productive habits and routines to support sustained productivity. Chapter 4. Building Productive Habits and Routines The Science of Habit Formation Establishing productive habits and routines is key to long-term success. By understanding the science of habit formation, 
you can develop and maintain habits that support your productivity and overall well-being. The Habit Loop Q. Routine Reward the Habit Loop is a neurological pattern that governs any habit. It consists of three components, the Q, the routine, and the reward. Understanding this loop can help you create new habits and modify existing ones. 1. Q The Q is a trigger that initiates the habit. It can be anything that prompts you to start the behavior, such as a specific time of day, an emotion, or an event. 2. Routine The routine is the behavior itself, the action you take in response to the Q. This can be a physical activity, a mental process, or an emotional reaction. 3. Reward The reward is the benefit you gain from the behavior. It reinforces the habit by providing a positive outcome, such as a feeling of satisfaction, a sense of accomplishment, or a tangible reward. Steps to Forming a New Habit 1. Identify a specific habit Choose a habit you want to develop. Be specific about what the habit is and why you want to develop it. For example, instead of saying exercise more, specify exercise for 30 minutes every morning. 2. Determine the cue. Identify a clear and consistent cue that will trigger the habit. This could be a specific time, place, or activity. For example, the cue for your morning exercise habit could be waking up or putting on your workout clothes. 3. Define the routine. Clearly outline the routine you want to follow. Make it simple and achievable. For the exercise habit, the routine could be a 30-minute workout, including warm-up and cool-down exercises. 4. Set a reward. Choose a reward that you will receive after completing the routine. The reward should be something you genuinely enjoy and look forward to. This could be a healthy snack, a relaxing shower, or a few minutes of leisure time. 5. Track your progress. Keep a record of your progress. Use a habit tracker, journal, or app to log each time you complete the habit. Tracking your progress helps reinforce the habit and provides a sense of accomplishment. 6. Be consistent. Consistency is crucial for habit formation. Try to perform the habit at the same time and in the same way every day. Consistent repetition strengthens the habit loop and makes the behavior more automatic. Overcoming challenges in habit formation forming new habits can be challenging, especially in the early stages. Here are some tips to overcome common obstacles. 1. Start small. Begin with small, manageable steps. Gradually increase the complexity or duration of the habit as it becomes more ingrained. 2. Stay patient. Habits take time to form. Be patient with yourself and stay committed, even if progress seems slow. Consistency over time leads to lasting change. 3. Seek support. Share your habit goals with a friend, family member, or support group. Having someone to encourage you and hold you accountable can make a significant difference. 4. Adjust as needed. If you encounter obstacles or find that the habit isn't working as planned, be flexible and make adjustments. Experiment with different cues, routines, and rewards to find what works best for you. Real-life example, forming a morning routine consider the story of Anna, who wanted to establish a productive morning routine. She identified her cue as waking up and her routine as a series of activities. Drinking a glass of water, doing a 15-minute meditation, and writing in her journal. Her reward was enjoying a cup of coffee while reading her favorite book. By consistently following this routine, Anna was able to create a positive and energizing start to her day.
Exercise. Creating a habit loop. 1. Identify a specific habit you want to develop. 2. Determine a clear and consistent cue. 3. Define a simple and achievable routine. 4. Choose a rewarding outcome for completing the routine. 5. Track your progress and stay consistent. By understanding and applying the science of habit formation, you can develop productive habits that support your goals and enhance your daily life. In the next page, we will explore creating effective morning routines to set a positive tone for the day. Creating Effective Morning Routines A strong morning routine can set a positive tone for the entire day. By establishing a series of productive habits in the morning, you can enhance your focus, energy, and overall productivity. This page explores the elements of an effective morning routine and provides practical tips for creating one that works for you. The benefits of a morning routine starting your day with a consistent routine can have several benefits, including 1. Increased Productivity a well-structured morning routine helps you start your day with a sense of purpose and direction. This can lead to increased productivity throughout the day. 2. Improved mental health Morning routines can reduce stress and anxiety by providing a predictable and calming start to the day. Activities like meditation, exercise, and journaling can improve your mental well-being. 3. Enhanced Focus and Concentration By engaging in activities that stimulate your mind and body, you can improve your focus and concentration for the tasks ahead. 4. Better Time Management A morning routine helps you manage your time more effectively by prioritizing important tasks and reducing the likelihood of procrastination. Elements of an Effective Morning Routine 1. Hydration. Start your day by drinking a glass of water. Hydration is essential for overall health and can help wake you up and boost your energy levels. 2. Exercise. Incorporate some form of physical activity into your morning routine. This could be a workout, a yoga session, or a brisk walk. Exercise releases endorphins which can improve your mood and energy levels. 3. Mindfulness or Meditation Spend a few minutes practicing mindfulness or meditation. This can help calm your mind, reduce stress, and improve your focus for the day ahead. 4. Healthy Breakfast Eat a nutritious breakfast to fuel your body and mind. A balanced meal with protein, Healthy fats and complex carbohydrates can provide sustained energy. 5. Planning and Goal Setting Take a few minutes to review your goals and plan your day. This can include creating a to-do list, setting priorities, and visualizing your tasks. 6. Personal Development Oh, engage in activities that promote personal growth, such as reading, journaling, or learning something new. This can help you start the day with a positive mindset. Creating your morning routine. 1. Identify your priorities. Determine what activities are most important to you in the morning. Consider your goals, preferences, and the amount of time you have available. 2. Start small. Begin with a few key activities and gradually build your routine over time. Starting small makes it easier to stick to your routine and avoid feeling overwhelmed. 3. Be consistent. Consistency is key to establishing a morning routine. Try to wake up at the same time every day and follow your routine in the same order. 4. Adjust as needed. Be flexible and willing to adjust your routine as needed. Life can be unpredictable, and it's important to adapt your routine to fit your changing needs and circumstances.
Real Life Example An effective morning routine consider the story of John, a busy professional who struggled with stress and low energy. John created a morning routine that included drinking a glass of water, doing a 20-minute workout, meditating for 10 minutes, eating a healthy breakfast, and planning his day. By consistently following this routine, John noticed significant improvements in his energy levels, focus, and overall well-being. Exercise. Designing your morning routine. 1. Identify the activities you want to include in your morning routine. 2. Determine the order and amount of time for each activity. 3. Start small and gradually build your routine. 4. Be consistent and adjust as needed. By creating an effective morning routine, you can start your day with energy, focus, and a positive mindset. In the next page, we will explore creating evening routines that help you wind down and prepare for the next day. Creating Effective Evening Routines Evening routines are equally important as morning routines for maintaining productivity and well-being. An effective evening routine helps you wind down, reflect on your day, and prepare for the next. This page explores the elements of a successful evening routine and provides practical tips for creating one. The benefits of an evening routine A structured evening routine can have several benefits, including 1. Improved sleep quality. A consistent evening routine signals to your body that it's time to wind down, which can improve sleep quality and help you fall asleep faster. 2. Stress reduction. Engaging in calming activities can reduce stress and anxiety, promoting a sense of relaxation and well being. 3. Reflection and planning. Reflecting on your day and planning for the next can help you stay organized and reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed. 4. Enhanced Productivity Preparing for the next day can set you up for success, making it easier to start your day with a clear plan and focused mindset. Elements of an Effective Evening Routine 1. Unplug from Technology Reduce screen time at least an hour before bed. The blue light emitted by screens can interfere with your body's production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. 2. Practice relaxation techniques. Engage in activities that promote relaxation, such as reading, taking a warm bath, or practicing gentle yoga. These activities can help calm your mind and body. 3. Reflect on your day. Spend a few minutes reflecting on your day. Consider what you accomplished, what challenges you faced, and what you learned. This can help you gain insights and appreciate your progress. 4. Plan for the next day. Write down your goals and tasks for the next day. This can help you feel more organized and reduce morning stress. Consider creating a to-do list or using a planner. 5. Prepare your environment. Set up your environment for the next day. This could include laying out your clothes, preparing your work bag, or setting up your workspace. A prepared environment can make your morning smoother. 6. Create a bedtime routine. Establish a consistent bedtime routine that signals to your body it's time to sleep. This could include activities like brushing your teeth, reading a book, or meditating. Creating your evening routine 1. Identify your priorities. Determine what activities are most important to you in the evening. Consider your goals, preferences, and the amount of time you have available. 2. Start small. Begin with a few key activities and gradually build your routine over time. Starting small makes it easier to stick to your routine and avoid feeling overwhelmed. 3. Be consistent. 
Consistency is key to establishing an evening routine. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. 4. Adjust as needed. Be flexible and willing to adjust your routine as needed. Life can be unpredictable, and it's important to adapt your routine to fit your changing needs and circumstances. Real Life Example An effective evening routine consider the story of Lisa, a busy teacher who struggled with stress and insomnia. Lisa created an evening routine that included unplugging from technology an hour before bed, reflecting on her day in a journal, planning her tasks for the next day, and reading a book before sleeping. By consistently following this routine, Lisa improved her sleep quality and felt more organized and relaxed. Exercise. Designing your evening routine. 1. Identify the activities you want to include in your evening routine. 2. Determine the order and amount of time for each activity. 3. Start small and gradually build your routine. 4. Be consistent and adjust as needed. By creating an effective evening routine, you can end your day with a sense of accomplishment and relaxation, setting the stage for a productive and positive next day. In the next page, we will explore tracking and adjusting habits to ensure they remain effective and aligned with your goals. Tracking and adjusting habits. Tracking and adjusting your habits is essential to ensure they remain effective and aligned with your goals. By regularly monitoring your progress and making necessary adjustments, you can maintain momentum and continue to improve your productivity. The importance of tracking habits, tracking your habits, provides several benefits. 1. Increased accountability. Keeping a record of your habits makes you more accountable to yourself. It encourages you to stay consistent and committed to your goals. 2. Insight into patterns. Tracking helps you identify patterns and trends in your behavior. This insight can reveal what works well and what needs improvement. 3. Motivation boost. Seeing your progress over time can be highly motivating. It reinforces the positive changes you're making and encourages you to keep going. 4. Opportunity for adjustment. Regular tracking allows you to make timely adjustments to your habits. If something isn't working, you can tweak it to better suit your needs. Methods for tracking habits. 1. Habit trackers. Use a habit tracker to log your daily habits. This can be a simple paper chart, a journal, or a digital app. Habit trackers help you visualize your progress and stay on track. 2. Journaling. Keep a journal to reflect on your habits and progress. Write about what you did, how you felt, and any challenges you faced. Journaling can provide valuable insights and help you stay mindful of your goals. 3. Digital Tools There are many digital tools and apps designed to help you track your habits. These tools often include features like reminders, progress charts, and goal setting to keep you motivated and organized. 4. Accountability Partners Share your habit goals with a friend, family member, or mentor who can hold you accountable. Regular check-ins with an accountability partner can provide support and encouragement. Steps for adjusting habits. 1. Review your progress. Regularly review your habit tracker or journal to assess your progress. Identify any patterns or obstacles that are hindering your success. 2. Evaluate effectiveness. Determine whether your current habits are helping you achieve your goals. If a habit isn't effective, consider why it's not working and what changes might improve it. 3. Make small adjustments. Start with small adjustments to your habits. This could involve changing the cue, 
routine, or reward. Small tweaks can lead to significant improvements over time. 4. Experiment with new strategies. Don't be afraid to experiment with new strategies. If a habit isn't working, try a different approach. Be flexible and open to finding what works best for you. 5. Stay patient and persistent. Adjusting habits takes time and persistence. Be patient with yourself and stay committed to the process. Consistency and effort will eventually lead to positive changes. Real-life example, adjusting habits for success consider the story of Sarah, who wanted to establish a habit of reading every evening. Initially, Sarah found it difficult to stick to her reading habit. By tracking her progress, she realized that her cue, finishing dinner, wasn't effective because she often felt too tired. Sarah adjusted her cue to brushing her teeth and started reading in bed. This small change made it easier for her to maintain her reading habit. Exercise. Tracking and adjusting your habits. 1. Choose a habit you want to track and improve. 2. Select a method for tracking your habit, habit tracker, journal, app. 3. Log your progress daily and review it regularly. 4. Evaluate the effectiveness of your habit and make small adjustments as needed. By tracking and adjusting your habits, you can ensure they remain effective and aligned with your goals. This continuous improvement process will help you maintain momentum and achieve sustained productivity. In the next page, we will explore advanced productivity techniques to further enhance your efficiency. Advanced Productivity Techniques Beyond basic habit formation and routines, advanced productivity techniques can further refine your approach to work and time management. These methods can significantly boost your efficiency and help you make the most of your time. The Pomodoro Technique The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method that involves working in short, focused bursts with breaks in between. This technique helps maintain high levels of concentration and productivity. 1. How to Implement the Pomodoro Technique Choose a task. Select a specific task you want to work on. Set a timer. Set a timer for 25 minutes, one Pomodoro session. Work intensely. Focus solely on the task until the timer goes off. Take a break. Take a five-minute break after the session. Repeat. After four Pomodoro sessions, take a longer break, 15-30 minutes. 2. Benefits Helps maintain focus and avoid burnout. Breaks tasks into manageable chunks. Encourages regular breaks, promoting mental clarity. The Eisenhower Matrix The Eisenhower Matrix, also known as the Urgent Important Matrix, helps prioritize tasks based on their urgency and importance. 1. How to use the Eisenhower Matrix Quadrant 1, Urgent and Important Tasks that Require Immediate Attention, e.g., Emergencies. Quadrant 2, Not Urgent but Important Tasks that Are Important for Long-Term Goals, e.g., Planning. Quadrant 3, Urgent but Not Important Tasks that Require Attention but Are Less Important, e.g., Interruptions. Quadrant 4, not urgent and not important tasks that are neither urgent nor important, e.g., distractions. 2. Benefits Helps prioritize tasks effectively. Ensures focus on important tasks. Reduces time spent on unimportant activities. Batch processing Batch processing involves grouping similar tasks together to complete them in a single session. This method can save time and reduce mental fatigue. 1. How to implement batch processing. Identify similar tasks. Group tasks that are similar in nature, e.g., emails, phone calls. 
Schedule time blocks. Allocate specific time blocks to complete these tasks. Focus on one group. Work on one batch of tasks without switching between different types of work. 2. Benefits. Reduces time lost due to context switching. Increases efficiency by focusing on similar tasks. Helps manage workflow more effectively. Delegation and outsourcing learning to delegate and outsource tasks can free up your time for more important activities. 1. How to delegate effectively. Identify tasks to delegate. Determine which tasks can be handled by others. Choose the right person. Select someone with the skills and capacity to complete the task. Provide clear instructions. Clearly communicate the task requirements and deadlines. Monitor progress. Check in regularly to ensure the task is on track. 2. How to outsource. Identify tasks for outsourcing. Determine which tasks can be outsourced to external providers, e.g., administrative work, specialized services. Find reliable providers. Research and select reputable outsourcing providers. Set clear expectations. Clearly outline the scope, deliverables, and timelines. 3. Benefits. Allows you to focus on high-priority tasks. Leverages the skills and expertise of others. Reduces workload and prevents burnout. Real-life example. Implementing advanced techniques consider the story of Michael, a project manager overwhelmed with daily tasks. By implementing the Pomodoro technique, Michael improved his focus and productivity. He used the Eisenhower matrix to prioritize tasks and batch processed his emails and meetings. Additionally, he delegated routine tasks to his team and outsourced specialized work to external providers. These advanced techniques helped Michael manage his workload more effectively and achieve better results. Exercise. Applying advanced productivity techniques. 1. Choose a specific task or project you want to improve. 2. Implement the Pomodoro technique to manage your time. 3. Use the Eisenhower matrix to prioritize your tasks. 4. Batch process similar tasks. 5. Delegate or outsource tasks as needed. By applying these advanced productivity techniques, you can optimize your workflow, manage your time more effectively, and achieve your goals with greater efficiency. In the next chapter, we will summarize our journey and provide an encouraging conclusion to the Time Warrior conquering procrastination and boosting productivity. Chapter 5. Advanced Productivity Techniques The Pomodoro Technique The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method designed to help you work with time, rather than against it. This technique can help you maintain high levels of concentration and productivity by breaking your work into short, focused intervals with regular breaks. Understanding the Pomodoro Technique The Pomodoro Technique is based on the idea that frequent breaks can improve mental agility. It involves working in focused bursts, called Pomodoros, followed by short breaks. Here's how to implement it. 1. Choose a task. Select a specific task you want to work on. It should be something that requires your full attention and focus. 2. Set a timer. Set a timer for 25 minutes. This period is one Pomodoro. During this time, focus solely on the task at hand without any interruptions. 3. Work intensely. Work on the task until the timer goes off. Avoid distractions and stay committed to the task for the full 25 minutes. 4. Take a short break. Once the Pomodoro session ends, take a 5-minute break. Use this time to relax, stretch, 
or grab a quick snack. 5. Repeat. After four Pomodoro sessions, take a longer break of 15-30 minutes. This helps you recharge before starting the next set of Pomodoros. Benefits of the Pomodoro Technique the Enhanced Focus Working in short, intense bursts helps you maintain concentration and avoid distractions. The Increased Productivity Breaking tasks into manageable intervals makes it easier to start and complete them. A reduced mental fatigue. Regular breaks prevent burnout and help maintain mental clarity throughout the day. Tips for effective Pomodoro sessions. 1. Plan your sessions. At the beginning of your day, list the tasks you need to complete and estimate how many Pomodoros each task will take. 2. Eliminate distractions. Create a workspace free from distractions. Turn off notifications, close unnecessary tabs, and inform others that you need uninterrupted time. 3. Track your progress. Keep a record of completed Pomodoros and tasks. This helps you stay motivated and see your progress over time. 4. Stay flexible. Adjust the length of your Pomodoros and breaks to fit your work style and energy levels. Some people may find that shorter or longer intervals work better for them. Real life example. Implementing the Pomodoro technique, consider the story of Maria, a freelance graphic designer who struggled with managing her time. Maria started using the Pomodoro technique to structure her workday. She found that working in 25-minute bursts with short breaks helped her stay focused and complete her projects more efficiently. By tracking her Pomodoros, Maria was able to improve her time management and reduce stress. Exercise. Implementing the Pomodoro Technique. 1. Choose a task you want to work on. 2. Set a timer for 25 minutes and focus on the task. 3. Take a 5-minute break after the session. 4. Repeat for 4 Pomodoros, then take a longer break. 5. Track your progress and adjust as needed. By implementing the Pomodoro technique, you can enhance your focus, manage your time more effectively, and increase your productivity. In the next page, we will explore the Eisenhower Matrix, another powerful tool for prioritizing tasks based on urgency and importance. The Eisenhower Matrix The Eisenhower Matrix, also known as the Urgent Important Matrix, is a powerful tool for prioritizing tasks based on their urgency and importance. This method helps you focus on what truly matters and manage your time more effectively. Understanding the Eisenhower Matrix The Eisenhower Matrix divides tasks into four quadrants. 1. Quadrant 1. Urgent and Important. These tasks require immediate attention and are crucial for your goals or responsibilities. Examples include emergencies, pressing deadlines, and critical issues that cannot be ignored. 2. Quadrant 2. Not urgent but important. These tasks are important for long-term success but do not require immediate action. Examples include strategic planning, personal development, and building relationships. 3. Quadrant 3. Urgent but not important. These tasks require immediate attention but are not important in the long term. They are often distractions or interruptions, such as some meetings, phone calls, and emails. 4. Quadrant 4. Not urgent and not important. These tasks are neither urgent nor important. They often waste time and do not contribute to your goals. Examples include excessive social media browsing, watching TV, and other low-value activities. How to use the Eisenhower Matrix 1. List your tasks. Start by listing all the tasks you need to complete. 
Include both professional and personal tasks to get a comprehensive view of your responsibilities. 2. Categorize tasks. Assign each task to one of the four quadrants based on its urgency and importance. Be honest about the significance and immediacy of each task. 3. Prioritize Quadrant 1 and 2. Focus on completing tasks in Quadrant 1 first, as they are both urgent and important. Then, allocate time for Quadrant 2 tasks, as they are crucial for long-term success. 4. Manage or Delegate Quadrant 3. Find ways to manage or delegate tasks in Quadrant 3. These tasks often distract from more important work, so minimizing their impact is key. 5. Eliminate Quadrant 4. Reduce or eliminate tasks in Quadrant 4. These activities do not contribute to your goals and can be a significant waste of time. Benefits of the Eisenhower Matrix 1. Improved focus. By categorizing and prioritizing tasks, you can focus on what truly matters and avoid getting sidetracked by less important activities. 2. Better time management. The matrix helps you allocate your time more effectively, ensuring that important tasks are given the attention they deserve. 3. Reduced stress. Knowing which tasks to prioritize can reduce the stress and overwhelm associated with a long to-do list. 4. Enhanced Productivity Focusing on urgent and important tasks leads to higher productivity and better outcomes. Real-life example. Using the Eisenhower Matrix consider the story of David, a marketing manager with a hectic schedule. David started using the Eisenhower Matrix to prioritize his tasks. By focusing on Quadrant 1 and 2 tasks, he was able to complete important projects on time and make progress on long-term goals. He delegated Quadrant 3 tasks to his team and minimized time spent on Quadrant 4 activities. This approach helped David improve his productivity and reduce stress. Exercise Using the Eisenhower Matrix 1. List all the tasks you need to complete. 2. Categorize each task into one of the four quadrants. 3. Focus on completing quadrant 1 and 2 tasks. 4. Manage or delegate quadrant 3 tasks. 5. Eliminate quadrant 4 tasks. By using the Eisenhower matrix, you can prioritize tasks effectively, manage your time better, and focus on what truly matters. In the next page, we will explore batch processing, another advanced productivity technique that can help you streamline your workflow and reduce mental fatigue. Batch processing. Batch processing is an advanced productivity technique that involves grouping similar tasks together to complete them in a single session. This method can save time, reduce mental fatigue, and improve efficiency by minimizing the cognitive load associated with switching between different types of tasks. Understanding batch processing Batch processing works on the principle that similar tasks require a similar mindset and set of skills. By completing them together, you can streamline your workflow and maintain a consistent level of focus and energy. How to implement batch processing 1. Identify similar tasks. Start by listing all the tasks you need to complete. Group tasks that are similar in nature, such as administrative work, creative tasks, or communication-related activities. 2. Create batches. Organize your tasks into batches. For example, you might create a batch for responding to emails, another for making phone calls, and a third for writing reports. 3. Schedule time blocks. Allocate specific time blocks in your schedule to work on each batch. Make sure to set aside uninterrupted time to focus on these tasks. 
4. Focus on one batch at a time. During the scheduled time block, focus solely on the tasks within that batch. Avoid switching between different types of tasks to maintain your concentration and efficiency. 5. Take breaks between batches. Schedule short breaks between batches to rest and recharge. This helps prevent burnout and keeps your mind fresh for the next set of tasks. Benefits of Batch Processing 1. Reduced Context Switching Constantly switching between different types of tasks can be mentally exhausting and time-consuming. Batch processing minimizes context switching, allowing you to stay focused and productive. 2. Increased Efficiency Grouping similar tasks together can help you complete them more quickly and efficiently. This is because you can maintain a consistent workflow without having to constantly adjust your mindset. 3. Improved Focus Working on one type of task at a time helps you maintain a higher level of focus and concentration. This can lead to better quality work and faster completion times. 4. Better Time Management by scheduling specific time blocks for different types of tasks, you can manage your time more effectively and ensure that all your responsibilities are addressed. Real-life example. Using batch processing, consider the story of Jane, a project manager who struggled with balancing multiple tasks throughout the day. Jane started using batch processing to organize her work. She created batches for emails, meetings, project planning, and team communication. By dedicating specific time blocks to each batch, Jane was able to complete her tasks more efficiently and with less stress. This method also helped her maintain better focus and produce higher quality work. Exercise. Implementing Batch Processing. 1. Identify similar tasks that you can group together. 2. Create batches for these tasks. 3. Schedule specific time blocks to work on each batch. 4. Focus on one batch at a time and take breaks between batches. By implementing batch processing, you can streamline your workflow, reduce mental fatigue, and improve your overall productivity. In the next page, we will explore the benefits of delegation and outsourcing and how these techniques can help you focus on your most important tasks. Delegation and Outsourcing Delegation and outsourcing are powerful techniques that can help you manage your workload more effectively, focus on your most important tasks, and achieve better results. By leveraging the skills and expertise of others, you can free up your time for high-priority activities and reduce stress. Understanding Delegation and Outsourcing 1. Delegation Delegation involves assigning tasks or responsibilities to others within your organization or team. It allows you to share the workload and ensure that tasks are completed efficiently. 2. Outsourcing Outsourcing involves contracting tasks or services to external providers. This can include hiring freelancers, agencies, or specialized service providers to handle specific tasks or projects. Benefits of Delegation and Outsourcing 1. Improved Focus By delegating or outsourcing routine or low-priority tasks, you can focus on your core responsibilities and strategic goals. 2. Increased Efficiency Delegating tasks to team members who have the right skills and expertise can lead to faster and more efficient completion of tasks. 3. Access to specialized skills. Outsourcing allows you to tap into specialized skills and expertise that may not be available within your organization. This can enhance the quality of work and drive better results. 4. Reduced workload. Sharing the workload with others can help prevent burnout and reduce stress, 
leading to better work-life balance and overall well-being. How to Delegate Effectively 1. Identify Tasks to Delegate Determine which tasks can be delegated based on their importance, complexity, and the skills required to complete them. Routine, administrative, and time-consuming tasks are good candidates for delegation. 2. Choose the right person. Select team members who have the necessary skills, experience, and capacity to handle the tasks. Consider their strengths, interests, and workload when making your decision. 3. Provide clear instructions. Clearly communicate the task requirements, expectations, and deadlines. Provide all necessary information and resources to ensure that the task can be completed successfully. 4. Empower and trust. Give the person autonomy to complete the task and trust them to do their job. Avoid micromanaging and provide support as needed. 5. Monitor progress. Check in regularly to monitor progress and provide feedback. This helps ensure that the task stays on track and any issues are addressed promptly. How to outsource effectively. 1. Identify tasks for outsourcing. Determine which tasks or projects can be outsourced. Consider tasks that require specialized skills, are time-consuming, or can be handled more efficiently by external providers. 2. Research providers. Research and select reputable outsourcing providers or freelancers. Look for providers with a proven track record, positive reviews, and relevant expertise. 3. Set clear expectations. Clearly define the scope, deliverables, and timelines for the outsourced tasks. Provide detailed instructions and communicate your expectations up front. 4. Establish communication. Maintain open and regular communication with the outsourcing provider. This helps ensure that the project stays on track and any issues are addressed promptly. 5. Evaluate performance. Assess the quality of work and the performance of the outsourcing provider. Provide feedback and make any necessary adjustments for future projects. Real-life example. Delegation and outsourcing consider the story of Rachel, a small business owner who struggled with managing her growing workload. Rachel decided to delegate administrative tasks to her assistant and outsource marketing projects to a specialized agency. By leveraging the skills of her team and external providers, Rachel was able to focus on strategic planning and business development. This approach led to increased efficiency, higher quality work, and business growth. Exercise Delegation and Outsourcing 1. Identify tasks that can be delegated or outsourced. 2. Choose the right person or provider for the task. 3. Provide clear instructions and set expectations. 4. Monitor progress and provide feedback. By effectively delegating and outsourcing tasks, you can manage your workload more efficiently, focus on high-priority activities, and achieve better results. In the next page, we will summarize our journey and provide an encouraging conclusion to the Time Warrior, conquering procrastination and boosting productivity. Book Conclusion As we conclude the Time Warrior, conquering procrastination and boosting productivity, it's time to reflect on the journey you've taken. You have learned to understand procrastination, implement practical strategies, maintain motivation, build productive habits, and utilize advanced techniques to enhance your efficiency. Understanding procrastination in the beginning, we explored the nature of procrastination and its impact on our lives. Understanding procrastination as a complex behavior influenced by psychological factors was the first step toward conquering it. 
recognizing the cost of procrastination and identifying your triggers and types helped you gain insight into your personal habits and challenges. Strategies to Overcome Procrastination We delved into practical strategies to overcome procrastination. From setting smart goals to breaking tasks into smaller steps, and using time blocking and scheduling, these techniques provided actionable methods to help you start tasks promptly and maintain focus. The exercises and worksheets throughout the chapters offered a hands-on approach to applying these strategies in your daily life. Building and maintaining motivation Motivation is the driving force behind productivity. We discussed the power of positive thinking, the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, and the importance of reward systems. Visualization techniques and building a support network were highlighted as essential tools for sustaining motivation. These methods not only keep you inspired, but also ensure that you maintain your momentum. Building productive habits and routines Establishing productive habits and routines forms the backbone of a successful and fulfilling life. We explored the science of habit formation, effective morning and evening routines, and the importance of tracking and adjusting habits. By creating a structured daily routine and consistently applying these principles, you can automate productivity and reduce the need for constant decision-making. Advanced Productivity Techniques Finally, we introduced advanced productivity techniques to further refine your approach to work and time management. The Pomodoro Technique, Eisenhower Matrix, Batch Processing, and delegation and outsourcing were discussed as powerful tools to optimize your workflow. These methods help you focus on high-priority tasks, manage your time more effectively, and achieve your goals with greater efficiency. Embrace the journey remember, the battle against procrastination is ongoing, but armed with these tools, you are well prepared to conquer it. Keep pushing forward, and don't be afraid to revisit these strategies as needed. Your time is your most valuable asset. Use it wisely and continue to strive for excellence. Celebrate your progress. Embrace the progress you've made. Celebrate your victories. And stay committed to your journey of productivity. The power to transform your life lies within you. Now, go forth and become the time warrior you were always meant to be. Exercise. Reflection and future planning. 1. Reflect on the strategies and techniques you've learned. 2. Identify which methods have been most effective for you. 3. Plan how you will continue to implement these strategies in your daily life. By reflecting on your journey and planning for the future, you can ensure that the lessons learned from the Time Warrior, conquering procrastination and boosting productivity, continue to guide you towards greater productivity and fulfillment.